Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Grounded. Today is going to be an exciting one because I am so excited to learn more about this pet aspect of the update. So we're going to be focusing really on doing mostly that today, catching more of these little jerks. And I actually think I want to build them a home out of the mushroom bricks. I have been slowly baking bricks and we have a good selection of them now. So we should be able to build something with this. I'm going to obviously continue to uh, make the mushroom slurry so we can make more bricks. But yeah, I really want to see what that's all about today. Um, also, before that, I have been having a problem with aphids in here. They are like little ninjas with an addiction to plant juices. So they keep going into my damn chest here trying to steal any plant slurry I have. I think they actually, they, they stole it all. So I do have to wall this off. If you remember, we had a trap here before. Well, they, they came in here so much, they broke the freaking trap. So I think what we're going to do is try this mushroom door out. Oh my God, it truly looks like a freaking hobbit hole now. I actually love it. All right, I just got to get my mushroom bricks. And you guys are never coming into my place again, damn it. I love that I got a little hole to look out of too, so I can see when they're trying to break down my mushroom door. So yeah, I don't know if the mushroom's actually stronger than other stuff. I'm assuming it is because it's so hard to make the bricks. Uh, so hopefully that door can withstand an attack from a crap load of aphids. For whatever reason, they're all around this place. All right, so that's done. I feel much more safe in here. You guys have no idea how much freaking food gets stolen. So next up, let's go build my pets a home. Speaking of pets... Oh. Did... Did my pet die? He's always down here. Oh, no! We didn't even get to name him yet. Well, I guess it's best we didn't name him if he died right away. I hope he respawns. I hope it's just he's somewhere else right now and it doesn't show up when he's not here. Do I have to feed them? I don't know what I did. Are you mine? No, I don't even know who's mine because he doesn't have gear yet. Okay, well, we're, we're learning how to take care of pets. Some are unfortunately going to get lost. Now, I have to decide. I want my pets to have their own house, damn it. So I don't want it too far from my place. I'm thinking like a beachfront property would be nice, kind of over here or something. So yeah, unfortunately, flooring, there isn't any mushroom floor. Well, I'm kind of bummed about that. So I might want to actually build some scaffolding and build a little platform. You know what? We could go the clay foundation route. I think that will look good. I don't have any clay, though. Uh, and it will kind of look like the bricks of the mushroom. So, yeah, I think we're going to go that route because there's clay all around here as well. It's just going to take a while to collect it. Okay, so we got a bunch of clay, and I think I'm going to build. This seems like a pretty good place here. There's not much flat ground around me, obviously. But the good thing about the clay is you can lift it a little bit. So, I want to make sure... We have a lot of space here, and we want a beachfront property, obviously. I mean, I have to give the best to my pets, you know? And yeah, I truly think this is going to be one of the best places, so we'll do this. So what I definitely want to try is these curved mushroom doors. Look at how cool this is. Now, this is going to be actually quite big, but we're going to have a door there. How do I flip this? Oh, F. That makes sense. Okay, but there we go. That is a badass entrance, if I do say so myself. Let's get this done. Oh, God. The irony is, I have, like, the most ghetto places for myself, yet my pets are gonna have the most epic little castle mushroom place. We obviously need to get some stairs here. We'll do that later. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good entrance. All right, I already ran out of clay. Good thing. It's literally right beside me. This is... This is why I like going the clay route over here. There's certain areas where obviously stems are way better. Even more down here. A lot of it's underwater. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, this thing's gonna break. Come on, just give me one more. You bastard. I was one more hit away. All right, so we're gonna do a curved wall there. This is so cool. I love the mushroom aspect. Do a curved wall there. I don't know how big th this is gonna be. This is literally just a home for my pets. So let's not go crazy here. Actually, hold on. I think there's curved walls with um, windows, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a good thing I remembered that, because that's going to look way better. All right, we'll super build that, super build that. Thankfully, a lot of this is obviously just mushrooms, so the mushrooms take a long time to make, but you don't need a crap load of other resources like all the other b building aspects, so I think this is going to look cool. So I think we should go maybe twice as far back, and then uh, we're going to have to get the pet things in here, the pet houses. The irony is the pet houses have their own house of their own, so that's fantastic. And then we can go collect some pets as well. Oh, this looks so cool. Speaking of pets, I haven't caught a weevil yet. Do I have any of the mushroom juices with me? I do. Okay, so we're going to try and catch a weevil since I clearly killed my other pet. Where the heck did he go? There he is. Come here, you dumb idiot. I'm very tempted to eat you because you're great for food, but let's, let's feed him. 
<laughs> Does he like it? <gasps> Is he mine? Yes! That was so easy! What's up, little weevil? <laughs> Okay, hopefully I can keep this pet for a while. Now, do I have to feed them? I don't know how the other one died. Well, that's okay. We we have a new weevil pet. I definitely want to get more aphids as well. I think those are the only two you can currently get, though. Okay, what the heck is going on? I literally just caught that weevil. Did I lose him? Does he need to... Maybe they need a home or they run away after a while? I hope they're not dying. I hope I'm not that bad of a parent. I mean, they're easy to catch, but I feel so bad because I want to keep my pets, damn it. That's the whole point. I got a mutation rock cracker. What does that do? I also got mom genes from killing the broodmother last episode. I can form spiderlings summon summoning motherly cries. Uh, that'd be interesting to try later. Oh, well, this is great. Uh, we're not fighting anything right now. I love that you can change these whenever you want. I mean, if you're gathering, obviously, you don't want combat ones. So we're going to get rock cracker. That allows me to... Uh, Crack these old clay rocks faster. Oh, I do got my weevil. Why, why does he look so screwed up right now? Okay, so maybe I got my old guy as well. I wonder if I need the pet areas to hold more than one. Where is he? He's, he's, he's on my thing again. He must be coming around here. That's so weird. So if they're far away, I guess you don't see them, which is horrifying. <sighs> why? Every freaking time this thing is just a troll. Anyways, working throughout the night just because why not? If I have this awesome helmet right now, it really doesn't matter if it's day or night. I don't know if I should go further than this. I don't want to go out any wider because we're going to run into that and it's going to look weird. And also we have this leaf here. I don't think we can get rid of these. Can we? No, I think it's always there. So it just look weird. So I think we can always build up if we want. But honestly, this is a pet house. Let's relax here a little bit. Uh, we'll add some walls to this. And we'll just spread out the windows just a little bit. Sometimes you can add too much windows to the point where it looks weird, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, we'll go back to basic and then we'll curve back around. And that, that should be a good baseline. Hopefully, I have enough mushrooms right now. I honestly have no idea if I do or not. But it's not like they're hard to get. They just take a lot of time to build. Come on, get over there. Uh-oh. There's, there's always one spot where it's difficult. There we go. Whew. The problem with the mushrooms is there's no roofing tiles, so I don't know if I want to add too much more. I want to keep this obviously mostly mushroom based. We almost got it all done. That's not bad, actually. There's obviously a nice big area for all my pets. Now, I will need mushrooms for the pet houses as well. I probably should have put some of those down first. So hopefully we'll cook some overnight and get at least a one or two pet houses down so we can start getting pets. Okay, yeah, we made quite a few overnight, so that's always good. So yeah, we're going to head out. I want to finally get this pet thing set up. So I did actually plan ahead. Someone moved my sticks though, but I think I needed four sticks. Let me just make sure. I should have everything I need now. Oh crap. Did I use all my acorn shells? What did I use my acorn shells on? I know the doors used it, but I thought I had a lot of them. Um, all right. Well, we have the feathers as well. We got lots of those. So we'll throw those over. I think we're going to have to go get acorns, unfortunately. Oh no, I forgot that that happens. They need to fix that. At least like warn you. So now I can't grab them. I, <laughs> I've lost. Wait, maybe I can use this leaf. Come on. Yes. Yes. Give me. Yeah. I need all four. Oh my God. This is, this is truly the worst. Okay. Well, I think they're a lot lost cause. We'll just have to remember to grab some as we're coming back from the tree. Oh, oh no. I just wanted to research. Oh no. I need these. Screw off. Oh god, this is bad. I didn't realize why it why are sticks so hard to get. So when I get poison, it drops them too. God damn it. Okay, the quest for stems is finally done. Jeez, that was that was harder than it should have been. I'll tell you that much. I'm sure there's well, there is dandelions and whatnot around here, so I guess I could have got them from here, but that's okay. The important part is we now have them. We'll drop them here. And let's build our first pet house. All right, so there's our first one. Yay, does that look good? Does the placement, the placement looks all right. Okay, oh my God, it's got a little, <laughs> it's got a little bone on the front door. Um, Share special treats with wild bugs for a chance to befriend them. How do I make them in go inside though? Do I still have my pet? No, I don't, okay. All right, we're gonna have to go find a pet in a second, but I just wanted to finally finish this just to appreciate it. Oh, it looks so good. So what I might do is maybe some stairs in the middle here, and then we can have like rows upon rows of housing. I don't know how insane I want to go with the pets, but I, I love this update so much. Anyways, let's grab these. At least get two houses for right now because, well, we have we can at least get two types of pets. I don't know how close I want these. I want this to look good too, so we'll put that there. And speed build. Done. Oh, I found an aphid. Come here, little guy. Hey. 
All right, I'm going to huck it at him because these guys are so scared. Please see that. That was a bad throw. Yes, eat it. Eat it, you a little idiot, and love me, damn it. I love the lapping noise. It's like a dog slurping water. Did it work? <gasps> yes! You are my first official pet. I swear I didn't kill like five of them already. <laughs> the aphids, by far the cutest. Come on. I have to take you to your new home. Deposit pet? That, that feels so wrong. But yes, we're going to deposit the pet. Okay, so it's an aphid. His favorite foods are plant slurry. His personality is wholesome. Of course he is. Look at him. Come to your house, damn it. His happiness is happy. <laughs> he even has a pet status. Oh, now I now I feel inclined to uh, pet my pets. Now we got to get the pet attire now. Hopefully we can figure that out. Can you please come home? You're freaking me out. So we got pet grub go goggles and pet ant helmet. It looks like we can only have one or the other. What do we want for this guy? I got to say those goggles are freaking adorable. Anything with goggles on is adorable. So let's go make some goggles for this little idiot. Okay, he's still wandering. He's not appreciating his home as much as I hoped he would, but we got to put those goggles on. How do I equip them? Oh, F. That would be smart. Can I please see you? Oh, there he is. He's out front. How do I lose you? You little idiot. I love you so much. No, don't run away. What? Are you, are you mad at me? What the hell? I just want to see your goggles. Get out of the grass. He's just living life now. He's all bougie because he's got a castle as a home. He doesn't even care about me anymore. <laughs> Look at him. What are you mad about? Do you want to climb that or something? All right, just let me see those things. Look at this guy. I love him so much. Oh my God. I hate that he's got his own personality though. He just doesn't care about me. What? Oh! Oh, that was amazing. So I have the brood mother mutation on. The spiderlings come and fight for me. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Also, I'm trying out this new uh, club. Not an amazing upgrade from the mint mallet, but definitely an upgrade indeed. Uh, that was the first time I saw the spiderlings come to my defense. But yeah, still looking for freaking weevils. They're nowhere to be found. Hence why I'm out in the middle of the night looking for them. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. I need that. I finally found one. He's being attacked. I'll save you, you little idiot. There you go. I understand you just got attacked, but relax. It's so dark out. Hold on. Let me put on my helmet. Yes. Eat it. I love that he actually tries to eat it. He was almost dead. Well, he wasn't almost dead, but he was being attacked. Oh, there we go. I saved your ass. It's funny because I heard him from down there and I decided to come up just to see if he was here and it worked out. No, 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 no. Oh God, I have to protect you. These guys really don't rush, do they? Oh my God, come on. All right, there we go. Come on, we're almost home. Keep going, come on. I have to stay here to keep the door open. Where the hell did he go? No, what are you doing? Don't come, don't leave. All right, you know what? Please, please don't despawn. All right, I just gotta go back and save you in base. Okay, pet detected. Deposit pet. <laughs> I hope you figure out how to get home one day, buddy. We're gonna put this on you. Oh, I can't. You can't equip the weevil with anything? It's only for the aphids. Well, we're gonna call this guy lucky because obviously he is lucky. I, I found him at the perfect time. Hopefully he can figure out how to get out of that door one day. We're gonna call the aphid bean. You guys mostly suggested green bean or bean for the name of this little guy. Well, the first one that we got, but let's just pretend this is the same one. So yeah, welcome bean. What, did he die? Oh my God, why are pets so difficult? I, I put him in there and everything. He's gone. Let's go see if he's still there. Well, I guess Lucky wasn't so lucky after all, was he? <laughs> God damn. There he is. What are you doing? You're my pet. Come here. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I found you again. Oh, you you are my pet. What? Why did it say no one lives there? I'm so confused right now. It seems to be a little bit buggy. <gasps> you can't put the helmet on him. Okay, it must, must be a distance thing. Okay. I think we're good now. He's home. As long as he stays around here with Bean, this is officially their home. And he has a helmet on. He's trying to get in. I don't know if they know where the front door is. All right. And good timing. I was working on something else. I was waiting for meat to spoil because farming has had a little bit of an update. Now I need more sticks. So I'm going to go grab this dandelion. Okay. There's your rope. Now, what can we... Oh, it doesn't actually even say. Now, I know we can do... The old way was to do mushrooms, so we're obviously going to do that again because mushrooms are always great. Plant that. 
Oh, now there's a harvest time. So do they regrow like last time or do we have to plant some something all the time? Obviously, plant fiber will be nice. It's something that sounds easy. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't do that, though, because we don't have enough for the third yet. Okay, I looked it up. You can plant mushrooms, plant fiber, sprig, and clover leaves. Honestly, plant fiber is one of the hardest things to get here. So we're going to do that. Uh, also, there's this fertilizer option now. They really updated this. Can I add mushrooms? No, I can't add mushrooms as fertilizer. I'm assuming that's spoiled meat as well. But we're not going to add that right now. So it's got it's got to increase yields, I'm assuming. That's really cool, though. So we got the mushrooms growing. Now we can do plants. Which is great for this area of the map because uh, this is a great area for defense. But when it comes to plant matter, there's really not much here. Oh, he finally came inside. They're so confused by their base. The pathing in this needs a little work. I don't think they know they're inside of a base. Also, Lucky is now inside the clay. Hopefully, he figures out how to get inside sooner or later. Oh, no, he's not inside the clay. He's actually just by the side over here. But yeah, I love how I made them a, a giant castle and it just doesn't work with the current pet update. I'm so glad at least one came inside though. So yeah, on this guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode checking out mostly the building and pet aspect of this game. It's so nice to see that each one has their own unique stats too. And I don't know what these bonus effects really do. We'll have to figure that out as we go and hopefully get more pets because yeah, these are the current two that you can get in the game, but I'm assuming in the very near future, they're going to allow for a bunch of different types of pets. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.